Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this using one of these, which is a new device from a company called dropdrippers.com, which has just made life extremely easy if you've ever fancied transferring your Games Workshop paints over to dropper bottles. So a bit of background on this. So I saw this on Kickstarter and I thought that's a really cool idea. And I was gonna back it, but unfortunately they didn't get enough backing. But then there was a post on the Bolter and Chainsaw forums where they decided to go into production anyway and start selling them. So it's basically just a sleeve in which your bottle sits and a stand. And there's a collar on the top which holds the funnel and the pot of Games Workshop paint and it makes the whole thing miles easier for transferring your paints over. So just a quick disclaimer, I haven't been sent this by Drop Drippers. They've not asked me to make this review in any way. I bought this with my own money just because I wanted to try it out. And as you can see in the background there, I've already transferred quite a few of my games workshop paints over to 15 milliliter dropper bottles so in terms of the bottles themselves you do get a sample bottle with this if you decide to purchase one but I got mine from Amazon it takes 15 milliliter bottles and it just sits straight in there nice and easily the Valio paints and Army Painter paints are in 17 mil and 18 mil paints uh, respectively they're an extremely tight fit in these so if you've got 17 mil bottles you're going to struggle uh, they don't quite fit I'm sure they might make one in the future that's a little bit bigger, but in terms of bottle, you need a 15 milliliter bottle and they take a standard Games Workshop pot extremely easily, no problem. If you're thinking about transferring shade paints over or contrast paints, then you're probably gonna need a big, bigger bottle. But anyway, I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer that into a dropper bottle from start to finish and talk about everything you need. So obviously you need your drop drippers device and a bottle with the uh, dispenser cap and the top. You're gonna need some airbrush thinner or flow improver, some clean water, uh, some paper towel as well, just to put the cap down because we're gonna rip the cap off the top of this bottle. And at the end, you're just gonna need an agitator ball to put in the bottle at the end. Now I'm using glass ones because I prefer those over stainless steel and those are designed for paint pots, so we're all good there. So anyway, without further ado, let's get ourselves set up and I'll show you how to transfer the paint over. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we've got some paper towel on the desk. So the first thing you need to do is get your dropper bottle and put it inside the sleeve like that and then we're going to take the funnel and then get the collar and inside the collar there's a ridge so the funnel is going to sit like that on the bottom lip and then this bit is going to go on top of your games workshop bottle so just put that down to one side for a second so the next thing we need to do is get the paint ready so what we're going to do is get some airbrush thinner and the paint so this is a brand new pot i haven't opened it so hopefully it's not too thick otherwise this video is going to be a bit of a disaster so what you need to do is get some thinner and put it into the paint. Now, you, if you look at the uh, Drop Drippers website, they do have a video guide on how to do this. Now, I've noticed that they put quite a bit of thinner in. Now, you've got to be a bit liberal with it. Put quite a bit in because you need the paint to flow easily. Otherwise, you're going to be sat for hours watching it. So make sure your paint's sealed up. Give it a shake, which I'm going to do off camera, just so you can't see me shaking around like a lunatic. So we're giving our paint a good shake. We'll give it a tap. And then... What we're going to do next is take the top off this paint. So I would recommend having a piece of wet paper towel to the side as well, just so you can take the cap off without getting it all over your fingers. Because if you get it all over your fingers, you're going to end up getting it all over the label of the bottle and everything when you're transferring it over. So we've got our paint thinned and it's all shaking up, hopefully mixed okay. The next thing to do is get the funnel and the collar and then we're going to put this on top of the pot like that take hold of it so it's one piece and then we're going to get our sleeve put your thumb on the bottle like that tip it upside down make sure everything is together properly then you're just going to tip it upside down like that and as you can see the paint has started flowing so now it's a case of just letting it do its work letting the paint flow out of the bottle and then we'll come back to it in a second Okay, so most of the paint looks like it's decanted out of the pot. So that's taken approximately seven or eight minutes. Obviously, I wasn't just going to let the video run there while you're watching that because you'll, you'll be bored to death. So now that that's done, the next thing to do is, well, what I like to do is take the pot off the funnel just very, very carefully. And then if you want, at this point, you could get the top, put it back on the pot and put some uh, more airbrush thinner in, give it a shake to get any residual paint out. But I have done that for a couple of the thicker paints, but it looks like I don't need to for this. Everything looks like it's gone okay. So that's the paint out of the pot. So the next thing to do is carefully lift the collar and the funnel off the top and then place it onto your paper towel. 
So this is why we have the paper towel there, just so you don't wreck your desk or your work surface or anything like that. Then the next thing to do is carefully take the bottle out. So there is a gap on the back as well. So as you're lifting it out, put your finger in the gap, just so you've got hold of the bottle, then you can get it out carefully without dropping it like that. So there we go. So that's our bottle of paint. We're going to take our agitator ball, drop one of them in there, get the cap, push that firmly into the top, make sure it's sealed. Now don't push too hard because the neck of the bottle will actually collapse in on itself. So you've got to be careful with that. And then the next thing to do is grab the top, screw that on, make sure it's on nice and secure. And then we're just going to give this a shake. And there we go, our Abaddon Black has now been transferred over to a dropper bottle. So the next thing to do is get the label off here and put it on the bottle. So what you could do at this point is just wipe the top of this, just so you don't get any paint on your fingers, because then if you do, you're going to get it all over the, the label and your new dropper bottle full of paint. So I'm just going to try and be careful and peel this off without getting paint all over myself. So label off the bottle. now. One thing to point out with these labels is because the Games Workshop pots are slightly slanted, the label is curved. So the best thing to do is lie the bottle flat, make sure you've not got a seam there, get your label nice and squared, and then just push down firmly like that. And then the next thing to do is just make sure using your thumb just to push the label on nice and tight so there's no air bubbles. It is going to overlap at the back at a slight angle, but that's not a problem. And again on this side, pull it nice and tight. Make sure you've got no air bu uh, bubbles in the label. And then what I like to do is just run my thumbs over the edge of the label, like that. And just make sure it's nice. And then there we go. One pot transferred over to dropper bottles. So the whole process, including messing about filming this video, has taken approximately 15 minutes. So one of the, would <coughs> excuse me, one of the things I would recommend is getting a second funnel because the only problem I've got now is I've got to take that funnel go and wash it and then start the whole process again so what I would suggest is buying another funnel or maybe a pack of funnels if they're cheap enough and they're disposable enough and then you could just use a funnel each time and chuck the funnel away or if you've got a couple of funnels you can be washing one while the paint's transferring from another one but that's it that's basically how to transfer your paint over your Games Workshop paint over to dropper bottles using this device from Drop Drippers. And I've got to say, I'm extremely impressed with them. It's a simple concept and, you know, full disclaimer, I'm sure there's other 3D printed products on there that are very similar that could do the job, but I really like it. I think it's a great device. Very, very simple. Put your paint in, get the funnel, mate it up together, tip it upside down, and there you go, it's done. I mean, I've spilled a little bit of paint in there because I've put it back on the tissue paper, but I've got to admit, from doing all those paints in the background there, I only had one um, spillage and that was down to my own ineptitude rather than the device itself. I didn't put, put it together properly when I tipped it upside down and I ended up having Ulfu and Grey leak everywhere. So that was a bit of a pain. But other than that, I've had no problems with it and it has made transferring the paints over very easy. So I'll leave a link in the description of this video um, to drop drippers where you can purchase one of these. As I said, I've just bought this with my own money. They haven't asked me to make this review. But I'm very impressed with it, so I thought I need to get that info out there. Um, if you ever wanted to transfer your <coughs> Games Workshop paints over to dropper bottles, this could be the solution because I've always wanted to do it, but I've always been wary of um, the horror stories that you hear of people pouring their paints into dropper bottles and spilling it everywhere or using the syringe method, which is really slow and laborious. So at least with this, you can just put one paint in there, tip it upside down, and you can be watching something on, on Netflix or whatever, and then once it's done, let's get the paint out of the way, clean your funnel, start again. So it's a quick solution. But anyway, that's it for today. I've gone on long enough. I just thought I'd do a video showing you this and how to transfer the paints over. I'm going to crack on with the rest now and hopefully at some point I'll be done. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you've enjoyed it. And if you didn't like it, just leave me a comment. Let me know why. Also, leave me a comment anyway. Let me know what you think of this. Or let me know, have you already transferred your paints over to dropper bottles? I'd be keen to know what you've done, how you did it, or if you did think, if you were thinking about doing this in the future, would you pick up one of these and give it a try using this? Let me know in the comments. I always I enjoy reading the comments and interacting with everyone. It's it makes doing these videos extremely worthwhile when you do that. So 
that's it for now thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video take care